Albumin, C-reactive protein, and creatinine may be better markers of longevity than glycemic status and lipoproteins. So let's take a look at that data. So first, who was in this study? It included 531 85 to 99 year olds, 288 centenarians, so that's within the 100 to 104 year age range, 572 semi-super centenarians, so that's within the 105 to 109 year old range, and then 36 super centenarians. So in other words, this cohort included people who were at least 85 and as old as older than 110 years. All right, so then in terms of the data, first we've got the HR, that's the hazard ratio or all-cause mortality risk. In other words, risk of death for all causes. And that's represented numerically on the left and then visually on the right. And then in the middle, we've got the 95% confidence interval. And note that that's the data in parentheses. When that data is either completely above one or completely below one, we have a significant association with all-cause mortality risk. So let's start off by taking a look at HDL, LDL, and HbA1c. So first, we can see that their confidence intervals completely overlap with one numerically. And visually, we can see that when putting up a red line at that hazard ratio of one, that each of their confidence intervals, which is represented by the horizontal line inside of each square or to the left and to the right of each square, we can see that there too overlaps with one and hence is not significantly associated with all-cause mortality risk within the 85 to older than 110 year age range. In contrast, we can see that albumin's 95% confidence interval is completely below one. And that's what we can see visually on the right. In other words, relatively higher albumin is associated with a reduced all-cause mortality risk. Conversely, we can see that data for creatinine and C-reactive protein their 95% confidence intervals are completely above one. And we can see that numerically on the left and then also visually on the right. So in other words, relatively higher C-reactive protein and creatinine are associated with an increased all-cause mortality risk. So if the goal is longevity or maximum longevity or getting as close to maximum longevity as possible, these data would su suggest that albumin, relatively high albumin, relatively low C-reactive protein and relatively low creatinine may be better markers of longevity than glycemic status and lipoproteins. All right, that's all for now. If you're interested in more about my attempts to biohack aging, check us out on Patreon. And before you go, we've got a whole bunch of discount links and merch that you may be interested in, including discount links for at-home metabolomics, NAD quantification, epigenetic testing, oral microbiome composition, green tea, at-home blood testing with CyFox Health, which includes ApoB, diet tracking, or if you'd like to support the channel, you can do that with the website, Buy Me A Coffee. We've also got merch. So if you're interested in wearing the Conquer Aging or Die Trying brand, that link and all of the other links will be in the video's description. Thanks for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Have a great day.